Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. This video today, as the title suggests, we're going to be providing some further information regarding further crackdowns, which have been initiated by Thai immigration police in the past few weeks. Um, recent article from littleindia.com, title is Indians Among 117 Foreign Nationals Arrested in Ongoing Crackdown in Thailand. Quoting directly, this article was written on March 17, 2018. Quoting directly, the results of the fourth X-ray outlaw foreigner operation during which the police conducted searches at 111 sites across Thailand were announced by Tourist Police Deputy Commissioner. A total of 84 foreigners were arrested for entering the country illegally, including 25 Indians, 31 Myanmar nationals, 18 Laotians, 4 Cambodians, 1 Vietnamese, 1 Iraqi, 2 Nigerians, and 1 Afghan. The nationality of one suspect is still unknown. Uh, it should be added that four, 20 foreigners were arrested for overstaying their tourist visas. The list comprised five in, uh, the list comprised five Indians, two Egyptians, a Russian, a Dutch, a Laotian, a Myanmar national, a Grecian, four Cambodians, two Chinese, one Vietnamese, and one person from Qatar. Also, 13 foreigners were arrested for working without permits or working in a job that was not permitted, which included eight Vietnamese and five Myanmar nationals, as well as a Thai employer. The DNA samples of the accused will be taken and they will be blacklisted from re-entering the country for a period of time based on their violations. So, what to take away from this? A couple of things. First of all, um, clearly immigration authorities here in Thailand are taking immigration matters more seriously than they have in the past. And in fact, they're being far more proactive in their enforcement um, programs, if you will. Uh, the other thing that I found interesting to take away from this is, first of all, they, they, they noted in there that the DNA of these individuals will be taken. So I'm assuming fingerprints, etc. cetera. Um, that being said, uh, I'm assuming that will mean that there will be some sort of biometric database presumably kept um, with respect to those who are being blacklisted. So um, where in the past one might get deported from Thailand and figure out some way abroad to sort of, for lack of a better term, sneak back in the country, uh, it appears clear to me that the enforcement apparatus and the identification mechanisms utilized by immigration authorities here in the kingdom um, it looks like they're being upgraded. And I think you're going to see situations where it's going to become far less likely to be able to get into Thailand um, once one is blacklisted, especially during the blacklisting period. Um, as previously noted in another video on this channel, in fact, a couple other videos on this channel, uh, regarding blacklisting specifically, there are specific time frames that one will be blacklisted um, from re-entering the kingdom depending on the circumstances of their deportation. So um, if one is, for example, arrested and then it's found out that that individual is in overstay, there are significantly um, more stringent penalties associated with future immigration privileges uh, when you compare it with someone who just leaves the country and the overstay is discovered at the time of their departure. Uh, again, uh, as discussed in a previous uh, video on this channel, there are various fines associated with overstaying in the kingdom. Um, those who voluntarily depart the country uh, generally pay their fine at the airport and move on. Uh, those who are arrested in the kingdom uh, on other charges or are found as in a situation like this where there's a raid, um, they can be detained at the immigration detention center before being deported. Uh, this can be not a particularly positive um, development for somebody who's here in the kingdom. So those who are in overstay should seriously think about getting their visas in order. Those who um, are detained should seriously consider getting legal assistance in order to get them um, essentially extricated as expeditiously as possible. Uh, so the thing to take away from this video just generally is the crackdown on immigration continues. I don't see it lightening up anytime soon. If anything, I think the overwhelming policy, or at least the implicit overwhelming policy moving forward, is probably going to be one of more stringent regulation, not of more laxity.